The Kelvin–Stokes theorem named for Lord Kelvin and George Stokes, also known as the Curl theorem, is a theorem in vector calculus on R3. Given a vector field, the theorem relates the integral of the curl of the vector field over some surface, to the line integral of the vector field around the boundary of the surface. The Kelvin–Stokes theorem is a special case of the generalized Stokes theorem. In particular, a vector field on R3 can be considered as a one-form in which case curl is the exterior derivative. If p x y z q x y z r x y z is defined in a region with smooth surface sigma and has first-order continuous partial derivatives, then sigma r y minus q z d y d Z plus P Z minus R X D Z DX plus QX minus PY DX DY equals sigma PDX plus QDY plus RDZ display style begin aligned and INT limits underscore sigma big left frac partial R partial Y frac partial Q partial Z right DY DZ plus left frac partial P partial Z frac partial R partial X right DZ DX plus left Frac partial q partial x frac partial p partial y right dx dy big five p t equals and oint limits underscore partial sigma big p dx plus q dy plus r dz big end aligned where sigma is boundary of region with smooth surface sigma. Topic theorem. Let gamma a b r two be a piecewise smooth Jordan plane curve. The Jordan curve theorem implies that gamma divides r two into two components, a compact one and another that is non-compact. Let d denote the compact part that is bounded by gamma and suppose psi d r three is smooth with s equals psi d. If gamma is the space curve defined by gamma t equals psi gamma t and f is a smooth vector field on R3, then topic <laughs> proof. The proof of the theorem consists of four steps. We assume Green's theorem, so what is of concern is how to boil down the three-dimensional complicated problem Kelvin-Stokes theorem to a two-dimensional rudimentary problem Green's theorem. When proving this theorem, mathematicians normally use the differential form. The pullback of a differential form is a very powerful tool for this situation, but learning differential forms requires substantial background knowledge. So, the proof below does not require knowledge of differential forms, and may be helpful for understanding the notion of differential forms. Topic: <laughs> First step of the proof, defining the pullback. Define p u v equals P one U V P two U V Display style Math BF P U V equals P underscore one U V P underscore two U V so that p is the pullback of f, and that p u v is r two valued function dependent on two parameters u v. In order to do so, we define p one and p two as follows: p one u v equals f psi 
u v psi u p 2 u v equals f psi u v psi v Display style p underscore one u v equals left langle math b f f psi u v big frac partial psi partial u right wrangle q quad p underscore two u v equals left langle math b f f psi u v big frac partial psi partial v right wrangle where display style langle wrangle is the normal inner product for Euclidean vectors, the dot product, see bra ket notation of R three and here and after display style langle a wrangle stands for the bilinear form according to matrix A. Topic Second step of the proof first equation. According to the definition of a line integral, gamma f d gamma equals a b f gamma t d gamma d t t d T equals A B F Gamma T D Psi Gamma D T T D T equals A B F gamma T J psi gamma T D gamma D T T D T display style begin aligned oint underscore gamma math B F F C D O T D math B F gamma and equals int underscore a carrot B left Langle math B F F circ gamma T big frac D gamma D T T right wrangle D T and equals int underscore a carrot B left Langle math B F F circ gamma T big frac D psi circ gamma dt t right wrangle dt and equals int underscore a carrot b left langle math b f f circ gamma t big j psi underscore gamma t c d o t frac d gamma dt t right wrangle dt end aligned where j psi stands for the Jacobian matrix of psi and the clear circle denotes function composition. Hence f Gamma T J Psi Gamma T D Gamma D T T equals F Gamma T J Psi Gamma T D Gamma D T T equals T F Gamma T J Psi Gamma T D Gamma D T T equals F psi gamma T psi U 
gamma t f psi gamma t psi v gamma t d gamma d t t equals p 1 u v p 2 u v d gamma d t t equals p u v D gamma DT T display style begin aligned left Langle Math BF F circ gamma T big J psi underscore gamma T frac D gamma DT T right wrangle and equals left Langle Math BF F circ gamma T big J psi underscore gamma T big frac D gamma DT T right wrangle and equals left Langle carrot T Math BFF circ gamma T C D O T J Psi underscore gamma T big frac D gamma D T T right wrangle and equals left langle left left langle Math BFF Psi gamma T big frac partial Psi partial U gamma T right wrangle left langle Math BFF Psi gamma T big frac partial Psi partial V Gamma T right wrangle right big frac D gamma D T T right wrangle and equals left langle P underscore one U V P underscore two U V big frac D gamma D T T right wrangle and equals left langle Math BF P U V big frac D gamma D T T right wrangle end aligned so we obtain the following equation gamma F D gamma equals gamma P D gamma display style oint underscore gamma Math BF F C D O T D Math BF gamma equals oint underscore Gamma Math BF P D Gamma Topic Third step of the proof Second equation First, calculate the partial derivatives using the Leibniz rule product rule P one V equals F Psi V Psi U plus F Psi two Psi V U P two U equals F Psi U Psi V plus F Psi two psi U V display style begin aligned frac partial P underscore one partial V and equals left Langle frac partial Math BF F circ psi partial V big frac partial psi partial U right wrangle plus left Langle Math BF F circ psi big frac partial carrot two psi partial V partial U right wrangle frac partial P underscore two Two partial U and equals left Langle frac partial Math BF F circ psi partial U big frac partial psi partial V right wrangle plus left Langle Math BF F circ psi big frac partial carrot two psi partial U partial V right wrangle end aligned so P one V minus P two U equals F Psi V Psi U minus F Psi U 
psi v equals j f psi u v psi v psi u minus j f psi u v psi u psi v chain rule equals psi u j f psi u v psi v minus psi u t j f psi u v psi v equals psi u j f psi u v minus t j f psi u v psi v equals psi u j f psi u v minus t j f psi u v psi v equals psi u times f times psi v j f psi u v minus t j f psi u v x equals times f times x equals debt times f Psi U V Psi U U V Psi V U V Scalar triple product Display style begin aligned frac partial P underscore one partial V frac partial P underscore two partial U and equals left Langle frac partial Math BF circ Psi partial V big frac partial Psi partial U right Wrangle left Langle frac partial Math BF F circ psi partial u big frac partial psi partial v right wrangle and equals left langle j math bff underscore psi u v c d o t frac partial psi partial v big frac partial psi partial u right wrangle left langle j math bff underscore psi u v c d o t frac partial psi partial u big Big frac partial psi partial v right wrangle and and text chain rule and equals left langle frac partial psi partial u big j math bff underscore psi u v big frac partial psi partial v right wrangle left langle frac partial psi partial u big carrot t j math bff underscore psi u v big frac partial psi Psi partial v right wrangle and equals left langle frac partial psi partial u big j math bff underscore psi u 
V carrot T J Math BF F underscore Psi U V big frac partial Psi partial V right wrangle and equals left Langle frac partial Psi partial U big left J Math BF F underscore Psi U V carrot T J Math BF F underscore Psi U V right C D O T frac partial Psi partial V right wrangle and equals left Langle frac partial Psi partial U big Nabla times Math BF F times frac partial Psi partial V right wrangle and and left J Math BF F underscore Psi U V carrot T J Math BF F underscore Psi U V right C D O T Math BF X equals Nabla times Math BF F times Math BF X and equals debt left Nabla times Math BF F Psi U V quad frac partial Psi partial U U V quad frac partial Psi partial V U V right and and text Scalar triple product end aligned. On the other hand, according to the definition of a surface integral, s times f d s equals d times f psi u v psi u u v times psi v u v d u d v equals d Debt times F psi U V psi U U V psi V U V D U D V Scalar triple product. Display style begin aligned int underscore s nabla times math bf f d s and equals int underscore d left langle nabla times math bf f psi u v big frac partial psi partial u u v times frac partial psi partial v u v right wrangle do d v and equals int underscore d debt left Left Nabla times Math BF F Psi U V quad frac partial Psi partial U U V quad frac partial Psi partial V U V right do D V and and text scalar triple product end aligned so we obtain S times F D S equals D P two U minus P one V D U D V display style I I N T underscore S Nabla times Math B F F D S equals I I N T underscore D left frac partial P underscore two partial U frac partial P underscore one partial V right do D V Topic Fourth step of the proof reduction to Green's theorem Combining the second and third steps, and then applying Green's theorem completes the proof. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Application for conservative vector fields and scalar potential. In this section, we will discuss the lamellar vector field based on Kelvin-Stokes theorem. First, we define the notarization map as follows. Theta A B 0 1 A B Theta A B equals S B minus Plus display style begin cases theta underscore a b zero one to a b theta underscore a b equals s b a plus a end cases theta 
a b display style theta underscore a b is a strictly increasing function. For all piecewise smooth paths C, A, B, R3 and all smooth vector fields F, the domain of which includes C, A, B, one has C F D C equals C theta A B F D C theta A B Display style int underscore C Math BF F D C equals int underscore C circ theta underscore A B Math BF F D C circ theta underscore A B So, we can assume the domain of the curve to be zero, one. Topic: The lamella vector field. In fluid dynamics, it is often referred to as a vortex-free or a rotational vector field. Furthermore, if the domain of F is simply connected, then in mechanics it can be identified as a conservative force. Topic: Helmholtz's theorems. In this section, we will introduce a theorem that is derived from the Kelvin–Stokes theorem and characterizes vortex-free vector fields. In fluid dynamics it is called Helmholtz's theorems, that theorem is also important in the area of homotopy theorem. Some textbooks such as Lawrence call the relationship between C0 and C1 stated in theorem 2 to 1 as homotope and the function h 0 1 times 0 1 u as homotopy between C0 and C1. However, homotope or homotopy in above mentioned sense are different, stronger than typical definitions of homotope or homotopy. So from now on we refer to homotopy homotope in the sense of theorem 2 to 1 as tube like homotopy homotope Topic <laughs> <laughs> proof of the theorem Here and after the stands for joining paths the display style ominous Stands for backwards of curvelet d equals 0, 1 times 0, 1. By our assumption, C1 and C2 are piecewise smooth homotopic, there are the piecewise smooth homogeny H, dm, gamma 1, 0, 1, d, gamma 1, t equals T zero gamma two zero one D gamma two S equals one S gamma three zero one D Gamma three T equals minus T plus zero plus one one Gamma four zero one D gamma four S equals zero one minus S gamma T equals gamma one gamma two gamma three Gamma four T 
gamma i t equals h gamma i t i equals 1 2 3 4 gamma t equals h gamma t equals gamma 1 gamma 2 gamma 3 gamma 4 t display style begin aligned and begin cases gamma underscore 1 0 1 to d gamma underscore 1 t equals t 0 end cases and begin cases gamma underscore 2 0 1 to d gamma underscore 2 s equals 1 s end cases and begin cases gamma underscore 3 0 1 to d gamma underscore 3 t equals t plus o plus 1 1 end cases and begin cases gamma underscore 4 0 1 to d gamma underscore 4 s equals 0 1 s end cases 6 pt gamma t and equals gamma underscore 1 o plus gamma underscore 2 o plus gamma underscore 3 o plus gamma underscore 4 t gamma underscore i t and equals h gamma underscore i t and an i equals 1 2 3 4 gamma t and equals h gamma t equals gamma underscore 1 o plus gamma underscore 2 o plus gamma underscore 3 o plus gamma underscore 4 t end aligned and let S be the image of D under H. Then Gamma F D Gamma equals S times F D S Display style oint underscore gamma math BF F D gamma equals I I N T underscore S Nabla times Math BF F D S will be obvious according to the theorem one and F is lamella vector field that right side of that equation is zero, so gamma F D gamma equals zero Display style oint underscore gamma math BF F D gamma equals zero here gamma F D gamma equals I equals one four gamma I F D gamma display style oint underscore gamma math bf f d gamma equals sum underscore i equals one carrot four oint underscore gamma underscore i math bf f d gamma and h is tubular homotopy that gamma two s equals gamma Four one minus S equals Gamma four S Display style Gamma underscore two S equals Gamma underscore four one S equals ominous Gamma underscore four S that line integral along gamma 2 s and line integral along gamma 4 s are compensated each other so gamma 1 f d gamma plus gamma 3 f d gamma equals 0 Display style oint underscore gamma underscore one math BF F D gamma plus oint underscore gamma underscore three math BF F D gamma equals zero. On the other hand, C one T equals H T zero equals H Gamma one T equals Gamma 
one T Display style C underscore one T equals H T zero equals H gamma underscore one T equals gamma underscore one T C two T equals H T one equals H gamma three T equals gamma three T display style C underscore two T equals H T one equals H ominous gamma underscore three T equals ominous gamma underscore three T that subjected equation is proved. Topic Application for conservative force Helmholtz's theorem, gives an explanation as to why the work done by a conservative force in changing an object's position is path-independent. First, we introduce the lemma 2 to 2, which is a corollary of and a special case of Helmholtz's theorem. Lemma 2 to 2, obviously follows from theorem 2 to 1. In lemma 2 to 2, the existence of H satisfying SC0 to SC3 is crucial. It is a well-known fact that, if U is simply connected, such H exists. The definition of simply connected space follows. You will find that, the SC1 to SC3 of both lemma 2 to 2 and definition 2 to 2 is same. So, someone may think that. For a conservative force, the work done in changing an object's position is path independent, is elucidated. However, there are very large gaps between following two. There are continuous H such that it satisfies SC1 to SC3. There are piecewise smooth H such that it satisfies SC1 to SC3 to fill that gap. The deep knowledge of homotopy theorem is required. For example, the following resources may be helpful for you. Lee teaches Whitney approximation theorem, page 136, and how to use that theorem to this issue, page 421. More general statements appear in C theorem 7 and 8 considering above mentioned fact and lemma 2 to 2 we will obtain following theorem Topic <laughs> Kelvin Stokes theorem on singular 2 cube and cube subdivisionable sphere Topic <laughs> Singular two cube and boundary. We omit the proof of the lemma. Using the lemma from now, we consider all singular two cubes to be notarized. In other words, we assume that the domain of all singular two cubes is I times I. In order to facilitate the discussion of boundary, we define delta K J C R K R K plus one delta K J C T one T K equals T one T J minus one C T J plus one T K 
Display style begin cases delta underscore k j c math b f r carrot k two math b f r carrot k plus one delta underscore k j c t underscore one c d o t s t underscore k equals left t underscore one c d o t s t underscore j one c T underscore J plus one C D O T S T underscore K right end cases Gamma one Gamma four are the one dimensional edges of the image of I times I here and after, the stands for joining paths and the display style ominous stands for backwards of curve Gamma one zero one I two Gamma one T equals Delta one two zero T equals T zero Gamma two Zero one I two Gamma two T equals Delta one 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 T equals one T Gamma three Zero one I two Gamma three T equals Delta one two one T equals minus T plus zero plus one one gamma four zero one I two gamma four T equals delta one one zero T equals zero one minus T gamma T equals gamma one gamma two Gamma three gamma four T gamma I T equals phi gamma I T I equals one two three four gamma T equals phi gamma T equals gamma one gamma two gamma three gamma four T display style begin aligned and begin cases gamma underscore one zero one to I carrot two gamma underscore one T equals delta underscore one two zero T equals T zero end cases and begin cases gamma underscore two zero one to I carrot two gamma underscore two T equals delta underscore one 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 T equals one T end cases and begin cases gamma underscore Three zero one to I carrot two gamma underscore three T equals ominous delta underscore one two one T equals T plus O plus one one end cases and begin cases gamma underscore four zero one to I carrot two gamma underscore four T equals ominous delta underscore one one zero T equals zero one T end cases 
six PT gamma T and equals gamma underscore one O plus gamma underscore two O plus gamma underscore three O plus gamma underscore four T gamma underscore I T and equals Varfi gamma underscore I T and and I equals one two three four gamma T and equals Varfi gamma T equals gamma underscore one O plus gamma underscore two O plus gamma underscore three O plus gamma underscore four T end aligned. Topic Cube subdivision The definition of the boundary of the definitions 3 to 3 is apparently depends on the cube subdivision. However, considering the following fact, the boundary is not depends on the cube subdivision. Therefore, the following definition is well defined. Notes <laughs> <laughs>